What's up everyone? I hope you're having an awesome week so far. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Jorge. Today I'm going to share with you four different ways that you can style or curate a console, a credenza, a sideboard, maybe an entryway table, maybe even a dresser. Now personally, I like to keep things more refined, more minimalistic, not so fussy. Now I'm talking things that are more maybe modern, maybe vintage maybe you want to blend the two together maybe you're a plant lover regardless i think i have a little bit for everybody so if that's something you're interested in, let's go ahead and get started okay so before we get started let's address the situation here i'm actually here in the home office and so I want to address this right here because a lot of people keep asking where this is from, the sideboard, and it's actually there are two Brimes cabinets put together to make like one larger sideboard. It's a really affordable way to get like a larger sideboard look. And it honestly looks like one singular piece. And so if you're looking for an affordable way to get like a larger sideboard or something like that, definitely check out the Brimes cabinets. These ones are the ones in black. All right, so for the first style, we're gonna bring together sort of more vintage items with a little bit more modern in a really, really beautiful way. I've seen this definitely in transitional spaces. So let me show you what I have. So I'm gonna keep it simple on the wall here. I'm gonna use this vintage style uh, wall art. I got this second hand, and by the way, I'm gonna try to link everything that I can below, but some things are second hand. Um, and some things I've had for a while, but some things are from like the stores and stuff. So definitely um, check down the description if you're interested for some of these items. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep it simple. I definitely don't want to be symmetrical, but I do want balance here. I found this really cool candelabra a couple of weeks, months ago. I'm really obsessed with it. It just, it's a really nice um, one. So I'm just gonna put it here on the end. Now, like many people, I'm very into sort of vintage vessels right now. These ones right here, I actually DIY'd. They actually look so real. I just couldn't find some that I like, so I just made my own here. And so I'm just going to put these over here. What I like about this is since it's like a pair, it's a good way to keep them together. And I don't know, it just feels nice. One thing I always like to do with vessels is I always like to put some greenery or some branches or something like that. So I found these right here from Target. I really, really like these. They're $5 per stem, I think. And I think they're magnolia. I'm not sure what they are. These look quite real. And so I really like this. I think this is gonna be more of like a muted color scheme. Maybe this is perfect for like those winter, colder months. Not so perfect. I'm gonna leave the little one as is. Now, I always like bowls, and this right here I think would be nice. This one is from at home. It was $20 for this size. It's cement. It's more of a warmer tone. Now, this is actually in the garden section. This is technically a planter. So be on the lookout if you're looking for like cement planters or bowls, go to the garden section because they are gonna be more affordable and they're not gonna be marketed as decorative bowls. So I highly recommend doing that. I like this one nice and big. So I'm just gonna put it right here. Kind of just play off of the roundness onto here. Now I always like to use books because, I don't know, they're interesting to look at. And so I always buy books that interest me. Now, um, I get my books from all over the place. I get them from secondhand stores. I get them from online, from stores all over the place. So this right here, I think would be nice. I'm actually gonna stand these up just for more interest. And then a good trick is to always like lean one onto the other. So that pretty much does it for this right here. Again, I think I'm trying to just keep it simple. I feel like it feels balanced. I'm sort of playing off of the colors here. Again, more muted. I turned some of the books around because if sometimes if you have books that are just super off color scheme, you can just turn them over and just have like the white pages. Let's light these up for some photos. Comment down below, let me know what you think.
now let's assume we're in the bedroom. Maybe you're styling a dresser or an entryway. Then you want like a little mirror to check yourself out. I put here this gold mirror that I found at Target. I really like it because it's a rectangle, but feels a little bit more modern because of the rounded corners. So I'll link that below if you're interested. This is now gonna be in the center. Let's bring in the forest. So I found this vase vessel at Target. I really like the color of it. And I went outside and got some branches from the tree here. And so I'm just gonna like put it on here. Now I always like to put a glass vase inside for the water just because of condensation and I don't know, I think it's a lot easier that way. And I'm just gonna like put the branches randomly. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's all about like being, feeling like natural, like, like a tree is growing or something like that. I think now we need some books. I'm gonna use these two large books. If you have that Tom Ford book or, you know, the other large Ford, what's the other one? Louis Vuitton? That would be perfect too. So this one has a little bit of that cream color and then black from the console. Let's bring in a bowl. I really like this bowl right here. This one's from Target. It's in from the Hearth and Hand collection. Hearth and Hand? I always, I always forget the name. Hearth and Hand collection. Um, technically, I think like a serving bowl, but you can easily use this for decor. Kind of looks like cast iron. I'm sure you've seen it before. I'm just going to put that on top of the books there. Okay, so now I'm going to put a lamp. I think a lamp is great for a console anytime. You can put really any style. The one I'm going to put is this one right here. This one is a vintage lamp that I found. And by vintage, I mean I found it thrifted for like $7. I put a new lampshade on it and I really like this. This is definitely something you could find pretty much anywhere. Something similar like this. Like again, I could put it in the center, but I'm not really a fan of that. So part of me kind of wants to lean it towards that over there. I think that looks much better. Or maybe next to the lamp. No, I like it next to this over here. I'm just going to like put it there. And that's pretty much it for this right here. I just really like, it's again, simplicity here, especially when you have like live branches like this, it's sort of that drama bringing in the current season. This could be like a catch-all bowl, a lamp, it'd be so cozy in the evening time. That pretty much does it. Comment down below, let me know what you think of this one. Let me snap some photos and then yeah. Okay, this is for all my plant lovers out there. If you're like me, you might have a whole bunch of plants and you don't know where to put them anymore. Of course, a sideboard or console is perfect for that. And so today I'm gonna style them in a more modern way. Um, but again, I wanna bring the beauty of the plants to the forefront of this and not compete with it so much. So what I have here is this modern art print that I, or not art print, photograph that I took and Fun fact, if you want to print large scale photography, definitely go to like FedEx or Staples. You can print like architectural or engineer prints for just a couple dollars and that is what I did here. And then I'm going to meet my good friend, Allo. My friend gave me a couple of years ago. This right here is my succulent bowl. I actually put this together, I think a couple of years ago. This, these are terracotta planters, obviously. This one right here is from Lowe's and I really like the bowl to it, kind of modern. It's, I think it was like $12 and I applied like a whitewash to it a couple of years ago, just to give it more of that lived in vintage feel. Definitely would recommend doing that if you want to make those like new terracotta plants just feel a little bit more distressed or vintage or not so new, I guess. So I'm gonna get some books here. And I'm going to actually keep this simple, just black books, because 
I think the power of contrast is very strong when you're trying to sort of make a statement. So that's what I want to do here, black and white, and then the plants will come forward. And so I put the black books here, turn the spines back again with the white pages facing forward. And then I think I'm going to put a bowl, a black bowl that I found. And I think that works. I think that pretty much does it for this because Again, I want to keep this as simple as I can, not so fussy, because I know that with plants, it can feel a little bit busy. And so just doing it like this, I think works. Again, black and white. So let me take some photos. Let me know what you think. for this last one and this one's going to be all about curating and bringing together a lot of more like vintage style pieces pieces that have a patina to them have some texture and so i think this is something that would really work with a whole bunch of different styles now let me show you what i have here and in this composition i'm going to anchor it with this large wall art i hope you can see here i actually did this made this last summer and what i like about it Yes, it is basically just white, but it has a nice texture to it. If you can like find a large wall art piece that is very just simplified, even if it's the same color as your wall, that's totally fine here. It's all about texture. Basically, I want it to look like it was leaning. So I, I did apply a, um, I did put a, what do you call those things? What do you call those things? I put a nail um, just to make it look like it is just, leaning up against it. So we're gonna layer in some branches, some vessels again here. This right here is that black vase again. And I went ahead and put some of those dried branches, real just dried branches that I found outside. Of course you can buy fake ones, but if you have access to real ones, I think this would work a lot better. I'm also going to put a bowl. Now this is sort of a vintage style bowl. It's actually a DIY that I did um, recently and a lot of you have been liking it. I'll link it down below if you're interested. I would even just leave it as, as this. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm going to put some books because I love books. What really helps is books that help bring in those colors together. In this case, black and more of those beige colors. So I'm gonna put those there. And then I'm gonna put this weird sculpture thing that I I actually found a while ago. This thing is kind of weird, but I like it. It's more of like a organic ceramic sculpture. It kind of reminds me of coral reef. So I'm just gonna put this here and it really helps that it's black too. So again, keeping things neutral. And then to top it all off, I like to bring in an element of metal. And of course my favorite metal is brass. And what I like about this one is it has that patina to it. It's more vintage. So let me just put this here. And I think that does it for this one. As you can see here, there's sort of this interest here created. It feels anchored to the console here. We have the stacked books. There's a little bit of layering going on. And of course the texture from the vessels and the bowl and the art piece. This is something that I kind of gravitate towards. But let me take some pictures and also let me know what you think about this one. So that pretty much does it for today's video. I hope that you took away some tips on how to style maybe a credenza, a console, maybe even a dresser. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit the like button. It'll really help me out. If you want to see more styling videos like this, subscribe. Again, thank you again so much for watching. I'll put some other videos that I think you might enjoy here. Again, thank you all so much and I will see you next time. Bye.